Namaste, beautiful yogis. Thank you so much for joining me on the Virgo full moon on the 20th of February. So I've decided to jump in a little earlier and uh, film this live meditation for you. The reason I'm jumping in earlier is my internet connection has been a little bit uh, intermittent today, so I thought I would maximize the opportunity to really feel and fill my beautiful space with this majestic light that you can see around me. Isn't it just fantastic? So um, I want you to have a couple of moments just to get yourself settled. So whilst I'm getting myself settled, I just want to talk to you to give you an opportunity to go and grab a couple of things that you might need before we start the meditation. So the first thing that I have in front of me, uh, or the first uh, invocation that I want to share with you is beauty. <laughs> and as we know, uh, if we're surrounding ourselves with things that we love, that things that fill us up, that things that give us joy, we're going to be more able to come in and really feel this essence of what um, meditating on the full moon is really about. So the meditation on the full moon asks us to take a really fluid approach to uh, what is happening around us. So what is happening around me at the minute is that I'm celebrating this beautiful light and I'm celebrating it with surrounding myself with things that I absolutely love that keep me centered and grounded. So I have a couple of candles in front of me, so you will need some form of candle light or a light um, as we're undergoing the ritual of release. So I have a couple of candles in a little uh, straw container, a little straw bowl. The reason they're in a straw bowl or a container is when we actually uh, burn the release. Um, so the little white pieces of paper or pieces of paper that you will need um, to burn, just make sure that you're the space is set and it's safe for you to actually light the candle and burn the piece of paper. So it just needs to be contained. What I also have here is my beautiful patchouli, my beautiful incense. So the incense I love to use, um, it was actually a gift from my teacher Ian. Ian is a Balinese uh, teacher from Ubud. So I, uh, I have him with me today. I also have uh, my beautiful Rabrashka mala beads. Um, so meditating on Rabrashka um, is the seed of life or the essence of life. So you, you may see um, Rabrashka usually kind of worn as um, um, sometimes as, uh, as jewellery, but I certainly wear uh, my Rabrashka because it takes the energy and it takes the vibration. So I have a Rabrashka bead um, mala that is, uh, I use for silent japa meditation and these beautiful Rabrashka beads um, I rotate through my right hand with a mantra, so that just helps me to settle. I'm also seated on my throne. You probably can't see it, but I'm seated on a beautiful kundalini rug, so I'm seated on white for purity. Um, I also have with me some beautiful white lilies, um, setting off the fragrance and white for purity. I have Saraswati, who is a deity in, sitting in front of me for to give me strength and to give me the words to find to guide you so authentically and beautifully. So thank you, Saraswati. I have a beautiful lotus candle, I have rose quartz. Um, I also have some homemade smudge. So I wanna just light the smudge for you now as I cleanse the space. So if you have an opportunity to cleanse your own space, maybe there's a, 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 a time for you to just take that forward now. So my beautiful smudge mix that I've actually made myself uh, is curry plant, is eucalyptus, is lemon tea tree. So I actually have uh, found uh, these plants growing in the bush, in the native Australian bush, at the back of my home, as well as the curry plant from my garden. So the reason that we cleanse is also just to clear the energy and to clear the space. It also says to spirit that we are ready to take um, and receive higher message. So that's uh, one of the reasons or the mystique around why we would use cleanse. I sometimes also use a white sage, um, but today I'm choosing my own bush essence. So as I cleanse the space and hold the space for you, I lovingly invite you just to conduct your own little ritual, just to clear your own space. So whilst I'm choosing to clear with my bush essence, you can also clear the energy with say an essential oil and an essential oil may also help you to ground in the practice. So um, essential oils that I'm using for myself to help me uh, to cleanse, but also to ground is vetiver. Now vetiver um, is a really earthy, mossy, greeny uh, smelling oil. 
It is uh, really great to enhance meditation. It's great to enhance um, getting you back into your body. It is also great to ground. Now, um, I have used vetiver before with some of my students during my weekly classes, and vetiver has one of those smells that is really going to be attracting to you or it will repulse you. <laughs> it's, it's, there's no kind of shades in between, but I love vetiver. So I'm going to be using vetiver just to dab onto the balls of my feet and just rubbing that through so I can also really be prepared to take the energy forward. And frankincense, so I'm using frankincense on the back of my neck, onto my throat to help me find the words to speak authentically, um, and just into my third eye. Just rubbing my hands together, taking in all this beauty around me. What I also have prepared is a little water bowl. So you will need a water bowl and that's just for, uh, not only for safety in case the candles get out of uh, control, let's hope not, uh, but also I use water to cleanse um, throughout the ritual of release. Okay. So that's my beautiful altar, my beautiful space. So I'm hoping that you've given yourself an opportunity to go and grab the things that you might need. Also, uh, taking a really comfortable seat position. So your comfortable seat position um, is really about connecting and earthing through the base of the spine. It's also about opening and lifting the heart. It's being able to sit in a comfortable position. So that doesn't necessarily have to mean a cross leg position. It could mean that you're beautifully seated in a chair. Uh, your legs might be in front. Um, your legs might be off to the side. However you feel implored to come into this beautiful full moon meditation. So let's just begin the practice. So I lovingly invite you, thank you so much for allowing me to guide you as this moon passes through the full and lunar cycle. So I'm going to call open the meditation with just So as we're sitting in tuning to the vibration, the moon asks to take a fluid approach to what is, what is happening around us. And in very simple terms, in the Sanskrit language, the full moon means Purina. Purina is deeply tied, this full moon is deeply tied to our emotions. So it's like as if we're going through this flow of non-attachment to anything that doesn't serve us. So this full moon is certainly about a really powerful time to release things that are no longer serving us. Uh, so whether that's uh, the identity that we have, the relationship that we have with ourselves, the attributes, our frame of mind, um, things that cause us to trigger or stimulus old habits, anything that is really holding us back from living our purity and living our truth. So the power of this phase of the, of the moon um, is, is really just about letting go so it's actually about releasing but i also want to take you and guide you through a not only this beautiful ritual of release but also setting some invocations for the new moon cycle so it is really about also the best way to deal with this charge of energy is to surrender so it, now it's time to really turn ourselves inward so turning ourselves inward to illuminate our own beautiful and personal power is really about acknowledging the greatness that lives within. So as this fresh energy streams in from all around us, I now just lovingly invite you to just really sit with the breath. Really sit with just the rise and fall of the natural rhythm of your breath. And what this could mean for you is that your palms are gently facing up to receive the energy or they're grounding you down to the earth. So as we become aware of the breath, we also become aware of the emotions that may be rising from within us. And our emotions are generally heightened during this beautiful feminine and lunar cycle. So we are sparked to ignite and connect with this feminine essence of illumination. So as we sit with the breath connection, the energy flows freely through us. We are this vehicle of the transference of 
energy from the darkness to the light, from the lightness to the darkness. And we're reminded in the shades of the cycle, the shades of the moon, she illuminates with all of her power into the darkness, but she shares light. So as we're connecting with this breath and with this connection, I'm just wanting you to, if it feels safe to do so, when you're called to do so, is just join the hands into Namaskar, into prayer pose, hands into the heart. And let's just bow our heads in gratitude to this beautiful coming together in this safe container where this energy vibrates together. We are connected through the beautiful mala of existence, the mala of life. And just bow our heads in gratitude to this practice and in gratitude to one another for showing up for ourselves to vibrate this essence of surrender and release. So I lovingly now invite you just to reach up for high good on the breath and the exhale is the release to ground. Let's rise the energy up from the earth. Let's look up to the lunar, up to the sky, and ground ourselves back into the heart. Let's raise the energy up, and let's exhale the release. Once again, raise the energy up, ground and earth. Feel the flow of this beautiful cycle. Flow of the tides. The flow of water, she becomes full and tidal. So the next inhale and exhale, let's just move beautiful arms, beautiful shoulders. Let's just not be too concerned about holding ourselves together. So I want you to just flow with this amazing, beautiful cycle. And this is your own private space where you can enjoy this nectar. It's just about coming and bringing yourself back into feel the body. Beautiful soft movements. Beautiful feeling your body. Feeling yourself open so allow your heart to be the guide as we slowly start to just now center again. So as we're centering down into our seat and perhaps we just like to close the eyes and I'll just guide you through a beautiful clearing imagination, clearing visualization. So as we close the eyes down, we're listening to the breath and I'd like you just to imagine that you are standing underneath a beautiful silver waterfall. And as you're standing underneath this beautiful silver waterfall, Whatever that beautiful place is for you, perhaps it's up in the clouds, perhaps it's in a majestic rainforest, perhaps it's in your favourite cave in the wilderness, perhaps it's down by the beach. Whatever that place you're called to visualise, I'm wanting you just to stand there in softness. And I'm wanting you to see yourself in this illumination of the light. And in this beautiful illumination of the light, you're standing under this silver waterfall and you're allowing this negative energy to be washed away by the illumination of the soft flowing petals of water as they dance along the skin. So as you're sitting in this beautiful seat, you're visualizing this flow, you're visualizing the water touching and trickling all over the skin. So allowing your body to be open, allowing your mind to be open, allowing your heart to be open, your spirit to be filled with illumination of release and light. So as we allow this negative energy to wash all over our body, we're starting from the top of the head, the crown of the head. We're opening the crown chakra, Sahasrara, with the flow. And you're allowing the light to absorb in through the top of the crown and you're allowing this beautiful water to wash down through the crown into Ajna, third eye, in through to the heart and the throat, Vishuddha, in through to the navel, in through to Satisvana, into hormonal health, into the base. So we're illuminated and we're 
really steady and strong and centered in our energetic body. As we still become connected with this flow of the water and the eyes are still closed and you're connecting with this intention, this beautiful invocation for your practice, So I now lovingly just invite you to return slowly. So just by opening the eyes and just centering down and just preparing now, preparing to perhaps grab your pen and your beautiful piece of paper and just be ready to listen with an open heart. You will also need your candles in front of you As we start now to prepare for our beautiful ritual of release. So what we're essentially doing here is really sitting with the soul energy, sitting with what is rising forward for us. So as we write from the soul, just want you to really think about what do you really wish to release from your life? What do you really wish to be freed from? And what no longer serves you? So what do you wish to release from your life? What do you wish to be free from? And what no longer serves you? What do you wish to be released from your life? What do you wish to be freed from? And what no longer serves you? So as you declare whatever that is, declare that with a beautiful and open heart. So as I lovingly now invite you to write from the soul. So collect your pen, collect your piece of paper and just spend a few quiet moments in personal invocation, personal intention with the heart as you declare your heart, write it on a piece of paper and I'll just bring you back in just a couple of moments. you're slowly writing the soul what you wish to release from your life what you wish to be freed from what no longer serves you and I just lovingly invite you to with an open heart use the fire as a means to be a symbol to I release what no longer serves me release what no longer serves me. I release what no longer serves me. I release what no longer serves me. I release what no longer serves me. And 
just continue with your personal ritual of release. It's a beautiful way to really connect with your heart, with your truth, and release what no longer serves me. I release what no longer serves me. What we're actually doing is working with this element of fire. So this element of fire and this the smoke being a vehicle to actually take the intention out into the universe. So this beautiful smell of incense, my beautiful smell of my burning cleanse, my ritual, taking away things that no longer serve me to say to the universe, I'm open to to receive, I'm open to purify, I'm open to receive your light. So as we complete this beautiful personal ritual, and I just lovingly invite you to take your water and just cleanse forward with love and with kindness into where your soul lays. And also just cleanse across the head, cleanse across the body with the water as an invocation to purify as an invocation to now have the heart lead and be open. So as we now just centre, following this beautiful release, see this beautiful light streaming in, the light following, the smoke is following the light, it's just magnificent, it's just beautiful to see and to feel, it feels really powerful in here, I don't know how your, how it is in your space, but it just feels magnificent, so let's just now come back, so this beautiful cleanse of the water is to now come back to feel the breath, come back into the body, as we centre and as we earth down. We're now also now about releasing those old patterns as we have done and now we're sitting with manifesting the heart's desire. So imagine just for a moment, so sitting back into the sit position and manifesting the heart's desire. So visualising these dreams happening for yourself. So really listen from the heart. Listen, what are, what, what are you called to dream? What are you called to create for yourself, to manifest on the energy of this lunar cycle? So just on another piece of paper, I just would like you now to lovingly just feel and write down what you're called to manifest in terms of your heart's desire. So just by grabbing your piece of paper, just listing your heart's desire onto the piece of paper, whatever that works for, for you, whatever that is, whatever you're called to write. And as you pick your piece of paper, just write that heart's desire down. And I lovingly now invite you just to open that beautiful piece of paper to the lunar light. Show the light, show the lunar. Invite that lunar energy in and just close this beautiful piece of paper close to the heart. And as you're now sending this energy into the heart, breathe and send this intention with love and with kindness and call in Call in this manifestation, call in the goddess, allow the moon, allow the moon light to shine upon you and your dreams. So whether that's an invocation to Mother Mary, to Mother Gaia, to Saraswati, to Shakti energy, whatever you're called, whether that is just the truth of the mother, whatever this lunar goddess is for you, is just allow that her to take you in your arms and to shine. And you, as you allow this breath, as you allow this list 
that's written on your piece of paper to really invocate into the heart, the desire of the heart. I manifest my heart's desire. What I also like to do with this beautiful piece of paper is the evening of the full moon is place it on a beautiful windowsill. Place it next to your bed perhaps. Place it under your crystals if, that's, if you're called to do that to charge your crystals and let the the lunar energy, the lunar light manifests that heart desire. So now as we're coming back and just maintaining a beautiful seat position, we're just going to be now coming into a beautiful guided meditation. So this guided meditation for you could be in crossed legs. It could be actually now. You may like to take a corpse pose, perhaps a Shavasana pose. So I just want you to get comfortable for a couple more moments. So perhaps that uh, beautiful lying down pose allows you to ground the spine, but open the heart to the lunar light. So just give you a couple of moments to adjust. I'm just going to be guiding you through uh, this visualization from my seat but you may choose to lie down it's completely up to you so just really feel be called to come into finding this beautiful parasomatic state this beautiful rest and digest state Just a couple of moments to settle in and to find your breath. So as we're either seated, the spine straight, or we may be laying in Sukhasana corpse pose, I just lovingly now invite you to connect back in with this essence of the breath. So this beautiful essence of the breath keeps us centered and in our body as we become one with this lunar energy, with this beautiful lunar light. So as we breathe in, we send intentions of love and kindness. And we call in the things that we need for this following cycle, not the things that no longer serve us. As we've released, we're calling in and manifesting heart desire. So I'd like to now just implore you to really connect with the base of the feet. So let's think about the base of the feet, how they earth us, how they ground us, how they support us with our connection to Mother Earth. They allow us to tread gently on the earth and they allow us to connect with this essence of Mother. So I lovingly invite you to just complete a beautiful scan of the bases of the feet. A beautiful scan of the toes. A beautiful scan of the ankles and beyond the muscular label, but beyond the joints, deep within the tissues that support the body. So this beautiful fascia that exists within and deep within the body. So allow the meridians to open and we have a place on the base of the feet which is an activation point for the kidney meridian. So the kidney is actually synonymous with flow and water. So we're employing water, we're employing this essence of flow. So as we know, the moon is tidal. The moon is about tidal flow. It's about going with the energy that exists. So drawing in this beautiful energy from the earth and now scanning and moving, perhaps even a magnificent colour. So whatever colour illuminates for you is focus the breath on this colour and this scan in through the feet, in through the ankles, up through the back of the legs, up through the back of the shins, up through the front of the shins and now resting into the knees. So as we rest into the knees, we thank our knees as they're connected to the lower limbs, they're connected to the base. They can be stubborn, they can be holding energy to block and to move forward but let's just lovingly send breath with intention of love and kindness into the knees as we scan now the large 
limbs that support and connect the lower torso to the earth. So the quadriceps scanning the front and the back, the hamstrings in through the back of the knees and coming back now to rest into the base. So as we're drawing and scanning into the body, we're becoming aware of when we may be holding extra tension in the body. So as we come into the base, we're now scanning and we're thanking ourselves for the secure base that we have, this sense of feeling safe, this sense of feeling I am enough, I am loved, I have all the things that I need. As we scan now from the base up into now Satisfana, beautiful colour, orange may come to mind. So this chakra point that sits just behind the perineum. So we're called to create the hormonal balance, this system of hormonal health, this system of sexuality, the system that gives us joy to be able to live an authentic and beautiful life. The source of creativity, the source of energy that sits within. So we're now just scanning through this beautiful area of the body now up to the navel. Manipura sitting into our internal sun. So let's allow ourselves to really shine and step into this lunar light, this beautiful space. So as we move from the digestive system, which is beautifully linked to Manipura, we're now resting up into the ribs, up into the heart space. And let's just check in with ourselves, how it is that we're feeling in this scan. So from the base, up to resting just into the heart. What emotions are rising for us? What sensations are manifesting during this beautiful scan? And just be reminded that whatever rises for you, it's completely beautiful. It's completely as it's meant to be. So we're not judging what is presenting forward. We're just breathing with this beautiful rhythm. We're just breathing into the space. We're allowing ourselves to surrender. So this moon cycle is also about so as we know, surrender, release, and setting beautiful manifestations for the heart to blossom and for us to blossom into the next cycle with purity, with grace. If it is with stamina, if it is with patience, if it is with more love for ourselves, whatever that invocation is, whatever you want to manifest into that heart's desire, really connect in with that feeling right as we sit here into Anahata. I lovingly now invite you to just open the vibration of the heart center and I'm going to just chant with you a chant of OM. So you're welcome to do a silent chant, you're also welcome to join me in this chant with a kind, warm and open heart. So on the next inhalation, attention to how that feels for the body perhaps it's rested you it's mag magnified this essence of what really the heart is trying to speak so when the heart speaks the words come freely so let's move the energy now up into be sure up into the throat soften the shoulders relax and open the heart shoulders down the ears open and just be alive with this essence it's wonderful and richness it is coming forward as you open the heart. So I want you to now just vibrate this manifest. So vibrate this manifestation and speak the words from the heart. So really just speak that manifestation of the heart right now. So speak that to yourself. Say it out loud. Give you a couple of moments. Because we now move and scan the energy up through to unclenching the jaw, being aware of any tension through the nose and through the teeth, relax the tongue. So we now move up into 
the higher end into Ojana, into third eye, just between the eyebrows. This single point of knowing, this single point of wisdom. The single point of, I understand that there is something more than just this physical plane. It is this connection to spirit, this connection to energy around us. And we only have to see the light forming in through these beautiful windows and the smoke uh, from the incense and the cleanse and our release to know that the energy is around us and it is flowing. It's just beautiful. So let's now surrender into that space. And let's just now bring the energy up through to the top of the crown. As we open this portal and we are ready to receive this lunar light. To receive the messages of abundance, of love, of growth. Whatever presents forward for you, just accept and let the lunar light shine all over you. So I'm just going to leave you for a few breaths just to conduct perhaps a body scan, a final body scan of the body. I'm just settling in and I'll leave you for a few moments and we'll return together in just a few breaths. As you're completing the final rotation of your body scan, either from your seated position or from your savasana corpse pose, I just now lovingly invite you to become aware of the physical sensations in the body, perhaps the tinglings on the skin, the vibrations of energy through the fingertips. And just allow yourself permission to surrender and to start your transition. And what I mean with this transition is we're adopting this feminine, graceful mindset, this feminine way of transitioning from this parasomatic state, this deep rest and digest state. Because we want to maintain this essence of tranquility, this essence of peace, this essence of I am coming back to truth, I am enough, I love, I am open, my heart's desires are being manifested. We want to just protect ourselves in this cocoon, in this beautiful cooler or container. So as you're getting ready to start your transition, perhaps the fingers are starting to move, toes. Perhaps you may want to also bring the arms up over the head and with the breath and maybe just Wiggle in through the shoulders. You may want to lengthen out the legs. Whatever you feel called to do to transition back to your seated position. So I lovingly invite you to transition with love and kindness. Be gracious. Be accepting. Be in your beautiful body. Be in your power. Celebrate the beautiful curve. Celebrate this beautiful flow. It is this wonderful cycle of the rhythm. And as we know, as beautiful women and men, we come into cycles every month. 
So whether we're menstruating on the moon or we're ovulating on the moon determines our place in this cycle. So if we are menstruating on the moon, we're able to probably give more to others as we shed rather than being fertile on the moon. It's just a wonderful way to really implore and celebrate this magnificent womanly body that we have as we come back to join, as we close the practice together. So let's come back to find our breath. Let's come back to find our beautiful seat. You may like to place your palms facing up or let's just join together if it feels safe. Hands into Namaskar, into prayer pose. And let's connect with that beautiful intention for our practice, the beautiful intention as we establish the relationship with the lunar cycle and this full moon. And we honour the energy and the power of this cycle the comings and the going of the cycle of the lunar light and we are open to receive, we are open to give. And as I close the practice, you're welcome to join me with a final prayer as I move the arms through and up over the head, tapping onto my third eye, so for purity of thought. Tapping into my lips for clarity of speech. And tapping into my heart and for a kind, warm and loving heart. So Namaste. So thank you beautiful meditators, beautiful yogis, beautiful community for allowing me to hold the space for you this afternoon and this for this evening. So uh, please do let me know uh, if this practice has been of service to you. So ordinarily I would conduct full moon meditations in the beautiful studio, uh, but for this month um, I've decided to bring the practice uh, indoors and to allow my community to regroup and to develop their own sense of spaciousness following um, our, our devastating weather events here in North Queensland. So if this practice serves you, please do uh, connect with me um, sundariyogatownsville.com uh, and watch out for our monthly full moon meditations. Also as you know, um, I'm a yoga teacher based in Townsville. Um, I offer virtual retreats, in-person retreats, uh, classes on a casual basis, terms uh, and workshops. I work one-to-one, -one, I work all over the place. So. If, if this practice is called uh, for you to inquire more about how I can maybe support you, please do reach out. Namaste. Thank you.